Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I just would like to share a little tip um, for how to transfer files from your Android phone to your Apple MacBook or Apple uh, operating system. Um, first, before we get started, I just want to explain the part that you need to do the setting on your Android phone before you plug in the cable. Okay, so before you plug in the cable, you need to go to your setting and then type in USB pref. Pref stands for preference. USB pref, like that. And then you would uh, select USB preference. Okay, and uh, keep it on this particular screen and then plug in your cable. Okay, once it's plugged in, you would want to switch to file transfer. Okay, and then um, on your computer, then you'll be able to, uh, let me switch it over so you can kind of see what it looks like on the computer itself. Okay, um, it auto launch iMovie, which I don't particularly like. I don't usually, um, download directly from the phone itself because it takes a long, long time for it to load up. I usually close that. And then uh, you need to download a an application called the Android File Transfer right here. So if you launch the Android File Transfer, oh, sorry, my phone timed out. All right, so let's, let's start it again, okay? So you go to application, after you download and install the Android file transfer, um, let's see what's going on here. Okay. So you're just going to go to application and find Android file transfer. And it should just come up like that. Let me show you. Okay, so that means that the the, uh, the computer is already connected to the phone and you can browse all these uh, files here. So your Android files, um, camera files will be under DCIM. I think that stands for digital camera images or something like that. And it's under camera and then under, yeah. So it's just under camera itself. I don't know what these in flight and flight low rest, whatever. But, and the only thing I do is uh, I just highlight them all and then I would move them. For example, here I would move it to the desktop and it will start transferring just like that. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. So that's it. So the key point here is that on the phone itself, what you're doing is that uh, you're actually um, going to USB preference. And once more, you can find it from uh, doing a double swipe down from the top. So let me um, repeat that process. Swipe, swipe again, press the gear. And at the search for the setting, type in USB pref and your USB preference. Okay, so either file transfer or PTP both works for me. And sometimes the computer will complain about, um, sorry, you gotta restart your device or reconnect, etc., etc. And um, usually I'll just switch it from file transfer to PTP and or from PTP to file transfer, vice versa, and it start working. Um, so this is not obviously as convenient as the uh, airdrop uh, by Apple, but this is the fastest. Do not use the Bluetooth transfer. That takes a long time and it's just a waste of time. Um, 
Yeah, so I found it that using cable and the Android file transfer works best for me to transfer my Android files to my MacBook. All right, thank you for watching. I hope that uh, this video is useful. If you do uh, find it useful, please give it a like. And um, if you find this kind of content useful, you may also want to consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.